don't think we can go any further. That's the track. 13 people died. Yeah, we're looking for the cave. Thanks for that Chino, that was a lovely walk. G'day, we're in One Faggy. We're gonna be spending a few days here exploring the area. The weather's not quite with us, but uh, we've got Chino here, our special guest, who's gonna help us sniff out some of the best spots to explore. All right, let's go. You know, I wonder when the train's gonna leave. We've been sitting here for ages. We're in the State Coal Mine Central area. Now in here there are five different walking tracks you can do. The one we're doing today is called the Pioneer Miners Loop, 1.3K. Let's go check it out.
So they actually mined coal out of this area from 1909 to 1968. Wow, this is an interesting track. Doesn't look like it's very often used. Ah. I don't think we can go any further unless we want to get uh, wet feet. So it's a bit unfortunate. Well, there you have it. It says, keep to the track. That's the track. So uh, with all this rain we had, um, I think this is a bit of a no-go zone. Oh, well, that was a short walk. So we're still in the State Coal Central area and behind me is, looks like an old ruins or something. Not quite sure what it is, but uh, we're gonna go and find out. It turns out that it's the number five brace. The number five brace was built in early 1910 and was the main screening plant for several mines in the area. It incorporated large coal bunkers and coal tippers to accommodate all the coal coming from the connected shafts in the area all at once. All the coal in skips came into the brace at the third floor from a shaft 46 meters deep. The skips were then weighed and gravitated into a compartment tipper. The coal would be grated and the large coal would run onto picking tables where the 14 year old boys would pick out any splint or rock from the coal prior to the coal being carried away. The brace operated until the mines closed in September 1968. So just outside Wonthaggi is shaft number 20, which they started uh, sinking the mine in 1923. Now it's well known because there were two explosions, one in 1931, which killed four people, and then one in 1937, which killed 13 people in the explosion. Now shaft number 20 is just behind us. This is actually the ventilation shaft which I'm standing on and I'll show you the turbine that sits in there that used to run off a spindle that actually used to then draw air back into the mine. So Chino has sniffed out the rail trail. So we're going to head along this trail on our bikes. We're going to head down to Kilcunda and Chino's going to lead the way. But I want to be riding on the front of your bike. Head down as we're driving on the love of your life. And at the speed of lightning, we're flying through golden streets. Somehow you make me feel like I'm still 17. All 
Right, so about 15 minutes north of Wonthaggy is the dinosaur fossil area and there's a cave there. Apparently there's three caves, we're going to try and find them. We're here right at the right time which is absolutely low tide in order to get to these. So um, let's go see what we can find. All right, so it is low tide. Now they reckon about 100 meters to the left is where the dinosaur footprints and fossils are. So uh, let's head down. It's perfect now with the low tide right out. It looks like there's a few people here thinking the same thing. Gino's on the hunt for uh, dinosaur fossils. It's still a nice walk, even though we haven't really found any dinosaur footprints, none that we've been able to identify with our uh, uneducated eyes, but I'm sure there's some here. Now, I don't know if this is a print, but it's certainly an unusual shape and looks a bit like a footprint. that that's one of the footprints. Okay, so we think this might be a dinosaur print here. So that's part of the foot and it could be like part of the claw here, maybe the thumb. Bang, like that. Yeah, we're looking for the cave. And it's starting to rain now. Well, that's one of the caves and I think the other cave is right there which we can't get to unless you go around from the other side so I think this is it and it's now starting to rain. Oh, Bernadette's gone inside, let's go have a quick walk. So if we can get inside without falling over. Oh. Oh. There you go. I won't get too far. <laughs> I don't think we're going further than that. Alright, you come back out. I'll come out. Hey, Gina. I'm coming towards ya. The Kilcunda Trestle Railway Bridge is the bridge we crossed earlier on our bike ride along the rail trail to Kilcunda. It is approximately 13 kilometres from Wonthaggy. It was constructed in 1911 and the heritage listed bridge stretches 91 metres across the Bourne River and is 12 metres high. The wooden trestle bridge formed part of the Wollamai Wonthaggy Railway until 1978 and is now a feature of the Bass Coast Rail Trail where you can pedal or stroll along the iconic bridge stopping to take in the views of the creek and the sandy Kilcunda beach.
All right, so the other spot that Chino recommends are the wetlands. So we're gonna go and check it out. There's some nice lakes here and a lot of beautiful walking tracks. So um, let's go have a look. Thanks for that Chino, that was a lovely walk. Alright Chino, thanks for helping us sniff out all the best spots to see around Wan Faggy. From uh, coal mining areas and history to wetlands and the Basque Coast uh, rail, rail trail. trail. Yeah, that was awesome. um, and uh, oh, dinosaur footprints yes. and the uh, caves, rock pools, rock pools, and um, yeah. So, uh, saw heaps of stuff to see. But uh, if you do like this video, make sure you hit like and subscribe, and join us for our next one as we explore Australia. Yeah.